everyone welcome back to my channel so today we will discuss about one of the most frequently asked coding problem during interviews with companies like amazon facebook and google we will try to resolve the problem in couple of ways first being the brute force one and to know the second approach please stay with me till the end so let's begin suppose you are given with one unsorted array ar of all non negative integers and along with that a integer value sum is given to you now you need to find out the part from that array or rather sub array which the sum of the element of that sub array exactly matches the given integer value sum okay now there might be cases that you can you will be able to find out more than one such sub arrays where the sum of those element matches with the given integer value sum but here what you need to find out is or rather print that the first sub arrays that you will be getting while counting it through the first sub arrays starting and end index you have to print let's understand this problem with one example first suppose you have given this array consist of six elements and you need to find out the sub array in which sum of the elements of that sub array matches 46 okay let's start with it first we'll start from 0th index 8 plus 15 how much 23 Fifteen plus eight plus fifteen twenty three. Then fifteen plus ten thirty three. Then thirty three plus twenty one. How much fifty four? So it already get over what we are expecting. Fifty four is greater than forty six. So this sub array is not possible. What we are expecting this is not that one, right? So no for this sub array. Now let us start from the one th index element. So fifteen plus fifteen plus ten, then twenty one. Fifteen plus ten is twenty five. Plus twenty one, we get our expected value forty six, right? So here we found out the sum between indexes one and three. So according to what we get, the output should be. that we got the sum found between indexes 1 and 3 begin index is 1 end index is 3 if we look at it you will get that by adding 21 and 25 also we can get 46 right but as i have already mentioned previously that we need to concentrate or rather we need to get that first sub array which gives us our required output okay so both are giving us but the uh, the required output but this is the first sub array so in our case the answer would be that the first sub array found between indexes 1 and 3 here i have written the code by keeping brute force approach in mind first let's understand it line by line so as per the given question we will be given this array and that's what we have defined here which is int array equals to 8 15 10 21 25 43 43 right by writing this line actually we are defining one array of integer type what is an array array is a data structure which can also we can also say like it is a collection of data which are of similar type if you see here we all the data that we have inside this integer type of array is 8 15 10 21 all of them are int number one more point about arrays array always follow contiguous memory location so somehow it stores the value in memory like this one after another 
so it stores in a contiguous memory location okay now come to the actual logic of the code first let us understand first why we have taken two for loop okay suppose you have started traversing this array so you have to add 8 plus 15 plus 10 plus 21 so in the first for loop where i starts from 0 this will consider the very first value of our array which is 8 and then we are telling that j equals to i plus 1 it means this will consider the next value 15 so the very first time our new sum will be 8 plus 15 equals to 23 if you see in our code i have taken an integer value new sum okay this is nothing but will be traversing the array and will be adding one by one element and then will be checking this value with the given one which is 46 in our case now according to code where this is happening see here we have written new sum equals to new sum plus array j one may more thing to consider here we are already declaring the new sum or rather initializing actually new sum with the very first value which is array 0 which is nothing but new sum was previously 8 and when we are executing this line new sum equals to new sum plus array j it is actually adding 8 plus j array j is nothing but 15 because j is at number 1th index so it is adding both of them and we are getting 23 now similarly for i equals to 0 j will be again j will be traversing so previously j was 1 now j will be 1 plus 1 which will be 2 and what is the data that we have in 2th index is 10 and now our new sum will be what was the last new sum 23 so now it will be 23 plus 10 which will be 33 right again the same similar thing will happen because till now you can see that 33 is less than 46 so again i will be 0 but j will be this time 2 plus 1 3 so in the third index we have the data 21 now the new sum would be previously it was 33 and now 21 it would be 54 which is greater than 46 so we on going forward to adding anything else to 54 because it is always it is, it is already greater than 46 in the similar way now we will be going from starting from 15 towards the end of the array and if we add 15 plus 10 plus 21 we will be getting 15 plus 10 plus 21 will gives us the required value which is 46 in the similar way that i have just explained you for 8 okay part of code where we are checking if our new sum value is equal to s then we are printing the starting and the ending index of that sub array which is in our case 15 and 21 if i run this one see start and end index of this array forming sum is 1 and 
15 is at 1th position, 21 is in the 3rd position. But this is not the efficient approach because here we are using two for loop which actually increases the time complexity of this algorithm and makes it big O of n square which is actually the worst case time complexity scenario. So now we will be talking about a more efficient approach which can make the time complexity or rather decrease the time complexity to big O of n. Let's start. At the very starting only I have told you that you will be given one unsorted array of all non-negative integers means your value will be positive. Now considering the second point that suppose we have started adding value one by one but once we are reaching to that extent when the sub the addition of all the value of that particular sub array is greater than what we are expecting then no need or there is no point of adding further other values to that particular value right what i am trying to say is suppose i am adding 8 plus 15 plus 10 which already makes it 33 then i am adding 21 as well which is making it 54 so once i have already got 54 no point of adding 25 or any further so then what we will be doing in this approach is once we are getting the value which is greater than what we are expecting we'll stop it so till the time it is less or equal to the value that we will be expecting will be keep on adding it and so according to the sliding window approach now theoretically we should be sliding this window to 15 so we are not considering 8 anymore but logically how we will do it we will just subtract 8 from what we got previously what we got 54 so we will just subtract the last data the very first data that was that has been added as part of the sub array so we will not consider right now the we will not consider 8 as part of the sub array now we will be considered we will be considering 15 plus 10 plus 21 why because just by eliminating the first value 8 from 54 we are getting 46 which we wanted to get so how we are getting it by adding actually 15 plus 10 plus 21 and that is what theoretically and logically we are applying sliding window approach to make the algorithm efficient and to get what we wanted to get as a output and that and that is what I have done here in this code. If you see here, we are not using two for loops first of all. Second thing is that we, I have told you right, that we have to delete whenever it is the new sum is greater than what we are expecting. We have to delete the very first one. In our case, it is 8. It was even possible that the 15, uh, like suppose if we have the data here as, suppose uh, 30, then also if you see 8 plus 30, 38, 38 plus 10, which already making it 48, which is greater than 46. So in that case, first we won't be considering 8, then in the second loop, if we are trying to add 30 plus 10 which is making it already 40 then we are adding it 21 so which is making it 61 right so again we have to discard 30 and that way only we will be considering then uh, in that case we will be considering 21 plus 25 by just sliding this window the similar way or rather 
deleting the first previous value that we were adding one by one. So if I run this, see the output start and end index of the first array forming sum is one and three. Here we are using one for loop and the while loop for eliminating the data and this if loop for checking whether our new sum is already equal to the sum expected or not. If it is, then we are just printing it out here. Okay, and this line is nothing but to add all the elements of one sub array one by one. Until now, unless we are getting some value which is already greater than or equal to uh, our expected uh, sum value. That's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Till then, keep learning with Proy.